Hello, I'm Matt Dix. Um, I'm a, a sixth generation farmer from Lake City, Florida, and this is kind of a uh, rundown of how we're planting corn this year. Here we're starting to, to plant corn uh, for this year, and we're implementing a, uh, a new planter and strip to rig that um, will enable us to, to do everything in one pass versus probably three passes across the field because we're we're, uh, we're strip tilling and planting and putting out herbicide and fertilizer all in one pass. All right, these are the, uh, the uh, coders that cut the, cut the slice to, for the uh, subsoil shanks that follow it. These are subsoil shanks that subsoil underneath where the seed is gonna be to break up any hard pan and loosen and bust compaction. The coders that till the strip where the seed will be planted and loosen and, and kind of fluff up the dirt. And that is just a rolling basket that smooths and prepares the, the final preparation for the seed bed. Row cleaners, they, they spin and remove any trash before the seed is planted. The openers open the trench for the seed to fall in. Gauge wheels that control the depth of how deep you're planting the seed. That's the actual seed meter that regulates the, the seed, dispenses it accordingly. Is the fertilizer knife where per, uh, liquid fertilizer is injected behind the colder two inches into the dirt. Those are the closing wheels that put dirt back on top of the seed and, and firm it back up. That's the herbicide um, nozzle, sprays the herbicide behind the rail. That's the seed box. Those are the uh, the manifolds that show that liquid is flowing evenly to all the row units. That's the pump that pumps all the liquid. Corn is about a 120 day crop. We, we plant it now, we're picking it at the end of July, 1st of August. This particular corn is a non-GM variety that we use to, uh, to feed cattle with. Normally you'd have the process that we're doing here would require at least two passes, two tractors running in the field versus one. And we're also using GPS to reduce overlap and, and use fertilizer and, and herbicide more efficiently. Try to try to re reduce our footprint, but not only that, it saves us fuel and time and uh, and money in the in the long run. 